we are at the 2016 Indian Auto Expo, as you know so far. We have put up a lot of videos and a lot of concept cars, a lot of production cars. And what you see behind us, but it may look like a concept, but it is not. It is Tata's latest compact SUV. A new step, a new product, a new category that Tata has never ventured into in the past. And it is quite pretty, if I'm going to be honest. Um, we saw the concept of the Nexon a couple of years ago, and this looks almost exactly the same, of course with more production parts added into it. The large grille, swept back headlamps, daytime running lights, very nice, very contoured bumper on the front, and a generally nice look to it. We also like the way the two-tone roof and body is differentiated, and this will come into production. What you see behind you is a production car. It's actual metal body panels, it's not a clay structure, not plastic, it'll actually be as it is. And that does excite us. It's a new, a new line of design for Tata Motors, something that we haven't seen before. But it still has the Tata Ness in it. If you see the front and the back, the back does remind us a little bit of the new Z car that we drove a couple of months ago. The front still has a little bit of the Indica or the Vista into it, and which I think is very necessary. On the whole, at the back especially, a lot of styling details, lovely, very high uh, waistline, a lot of good, good styling details that we're definitely looking forward to. Now, if you think your average starter vehicle isn't that great on quality and design on the interior, you guys really need to have a look at this. This does not feel like a Tata product. In fact, freestanding screen reminds us of most German luxury cars of the Audi A3. Um, a lot of black, a lot of gloss black finish, a lot of gloss brushed aluminium, and all of this will make it into production. It is pretty much how it'll be when it'll be launched about a year from now. Um, lovely leather armrest here, nice contoured seats. There's no leather on this particular car, but there will be a leather option. That is what we hear when it will be launched. On the whole, this just really feels nice. It just feels very well sorted, very well made. There are a couple of cubby holes here and here. We also have just certain small things like a city drive mode, an eco drive mode, and a sport mode here. And just on the whole, the, the, the next one just feels like a next generation Tata. And that's exactly what they need it to be. So a year from now when this does get launched at a price point of maybe 8 and 9 lakhs, it will go up against stuff like the Vitara Brezza, Mines of TV 3 and the Ford EcoSport. And if it comes like this in this set, we think it will make a great value for money product for most customers looking for something different, something Indian probably.